we, the researchers, use percussive sampling as our method so that we will know, we will be able to gather the data from the respondents much easier. The instrumentation that we did was, in order to gather data, we, we gave survey to the respondents. It is a type of close-ended questions and it composes of the checklist on what factors that they go for in choosing a study. The data gathering procedure. The data gathering procedure was we gathered the survey immediately once the respond respondents have finished answering it. Statistical treatment of the data is the formula. The formula is the f is equals to n divide 35 times 100. And for for example, the ano. The N is the number of students who chose EBM divided by the total population of them, the respondents, which is 35 uh, times 100 is equal to the percentage of the num or the number of students who chose EBM. Our findings are the main respondents got 71 percent. And the uh, females are 29, so therefore, most of our respondents are male. What else? Their, year, their age ranges from 14 to 18 years old. The 16 years old got 54%, and it's, it's the highest, and then... The lowest is the 18 years old, which only got 3%. Therefore, most of our respondents are male and age 16 years old. Most of our respondents also chose STEM, STEM which got 43%, and then the lowest strand got the other strand, which is particularly the PBL, the arts and design, and the others, learning facts. Regarding on how they, plot, they plotted their decision in choosing this plan, 83% of them said, says that they have planned their future career and then 70, and those who haven't planned their future, future profession got only 70%. And as for the relation of the plans to their future study course, they said that 84% of them said that their chosen strand is in line with their college course while 6% of them said that it's not and then for if they have chosen that strand based on their own research and selection 86% of them said it is and the other and the other 40% of them says that it's not and 60% 60, 60 of the respondents says that the decision of their friends somehow affect them and then 31% of them says that they are not really affected at all and said nine percent of them says that they are really affected with the decision of their friend their friends in choosing a friend so therefore most of them are not are somehow affect, affected with their friend's decision and lastly for the factors that students have considered 30 percent of the respondents says that passion and interest is a factor that they consider and 29% of them states that they consider skills as a factor and on demand courses as a factor got 23% and financial capability of the responses responses is 18% and lastly the peer pressure got 12% so therefore most of them are really considering their skills and passion in choosing a student and peer pressure doesn't really affect them our conclusions are the debit covers different strand to the upcoming HSS student. In choosing a strand, students must consider different factors so that they will come, they, they will come up with a decision.
DepEd is the one that promulgated the K-12 curriculum. So therefore, they are offering different learning strand, strands and tracks to the students. And they have to choose one and they will be having the learning competencies in that strand. The second one is regarding the factors passion and interest should be considered because if the students are really passionate about what they are doing, they will be learning comfortably. Skills should be also should also be considered because they will be able to pop up easily because they already know how to deal with such things. On demand courses also affects their decision because students will just go for the strand before them. But financial capability is also considered because it deals with how the expenses will be limited in their chosen strand. Lastly, peer pressure is another factor because it's, it tackles the influence of the other people in a student's decision as well on what strands they are about. Our number two conclusion, this explains or this happens the different factors that is considered by the students. There you have the explanation on why it is a factor. For example, the peer pressure. Peer pressure is, peer pressure is the one that uh, is also considered as a factor because students more likely to ask from their, from other people what they should take, not depending on their, on their selves. The number three conclusion is for the overall conclusion, students must choose the strand that they will be comfortable in. Wherein the learning competences will be taught to them will make them learn in an easier way if they have the knowledge and skills about the strand they want. They will be the one who are studying. They should decide on their own and should only ask basic needs and information from other people to help them come up with a good decision in selecting a strand. For our number the conclusion is the students must choose the strand that they are comfortable in, not with the strand that they, they really don't have the basic knowledge about it. Like they, they cannot learn in an easier way or they will probably get stressed about learning it because they really don't have the basic knowledge about it. They are not passionate about what they are doing. They are just pressured and they are just influenced by other people. Next slide. This slide tackles about our recommendation. The, the first one is that there are programs that will help the students to formulate and act upon their career, upon their career plans in the future. This is actually a recommendation to the school or to the teachers so that they will be they will be conducting a culminating activity about how the students should choose their strand or the things that will help them in deciding. The second one is because to say strand that will make them comfortable and is, is, is in, in order to choose which strand they, they, they should take, make sure they have the big steps. That's what we have said on the first one. On the first recommendation is students, we recommend that students choose the strand that they, they can really study about or the learning competencies will not make them really at the hard pace of their studying and we also suggest or recommend that they should narrow down their strengths and weaknesses, their passion and skills so that they really can come up with an attainable decision. The third one is be passionate about it and consider only the factors that really matters and plays a role in attaining their preferred strength. They should only consider either of the skills and their passion because peer pressure shouldn't hinder them and shouldn't really stop them from choosing the strand they, what their what their heart is it's really screams for. Alright, so very good presentation. Okay, let's have the first one who will be asked with a question. Okay, since Abel is your leader, Abel will be the first one to answer the question. So, Miss Abel, can you please get one number there? Number six. Number six. 
number six. So I'll be reading the, the question for you. Number six question, what is the significance of your study? The significance or the importance of our study is this will help not only help the students in choosing a strand that really suits them well, it's it is also significant it is also significant in terms of this will um this will embark and give in emphasis to the to the curriculum that it's a big help in in molding the students to the prof profession that they really want. Very good. Okay, the next uh, Miss Yapel. Get one number please. Number seven, I'll be reading the question for you. Did you bridge any gap? Or did your research or study bridge any gap from your, uh, or let's say, let's, uh, let me replace this. Did your study bridge the gap? If there are problems, did, it, uh, did your study solve it? Yes. Yes, in what way? We and we, we bridge the gap because we prevent mismatch the strand to 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 students. Student, what they chosen? Strand. Okay, next. Let's have Miss Villeneuve. Will you please get one question there? What number? Number two. This is your question. Why did you and your team decide to undertake this specific research? Why did you and your team decide? To undertake this specific research. To know, uh, we decided to undertake this this topic because uh, we want to know what what is we want to know that we what is the strengths. You want to know the, the strands, the students. Students that want to know the students. And to take in senior high school. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Are there more answers? Okay, next. Let's have Okay, Lim. Miss Lim, what number? Number 12. Okay, this is your question. In light of your discoveries or findings, what do you recommend? Or what are your recommendations if there are? Or just give me one recommendation. Choose skills. Choose strengths based on the student's skills. Okay, why? Why? make them comfortable in their strength cho chosen mm -hmm. is that it okay okay thank you miss uh, lin let's proceed to barcinas get one question there Number 22. 24. 24. 20. 20. You put your number there. 
Okay, number 20. What are your research questions? The research, I, the research, the research questions are all about if, what, what is choosing strand and if you're comfortable in your yeah, if you're comfortable you're choosing strand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only one? And what are the factors of your choosing strand? How, and how can I be? What did you? What is your strand? Next, Rojas. Number 10. Number 10, this is your question. Try to give your comments or your justifications uh, of your research methodology. So what method of research did you use? Oh, how did you get, or how did you uh, go in the research paper process? What process did you did you use when it comes to methodology? Just yeah, simply. How did you get those data? What what uh, did you do? Main question. What else? Uh, uh, analysis. What else? Huh? Um, make a graphing table. And then. Explain, explain the recommended study, recommended study. Okay. And, and uh, that's, that's all you can say? Okay, you, you stay the center, please. You, you, all of you, stay the center. You face here. All right, so some of you did a very good job. Some are just a failure so since you're done with your final defense I would say congratulations and uh, I hope you're going to submit your hard copy on time so after this you're not going to fix everything in order for you to submit your hard copy on your research okay congratulations Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.